Paul Thomas Anderson directed There Will Be Blood and Boogie Nights. Those are both really good movies and definitely movies I can rewatch over and over. What happened? Inherent Vice. This independent film, well, it's not really an independent film, but it was limited to release. And guess what? I had to go miles. Miles, guys. An hour drive. Am I... Ugh. To see this movie... It just, I came out, that was totally a waste of money. Ugh. My day is sort of ruined. Ruined. Alright, so this movie stars Joaquin Phoenix, and he's a, he's a detective and everything. Well, night pee, whatever, and he, he's, he's going through a rough time. He just broke up with his girlfriend, and all of a sudden she shows up, and she's like, I need your help with something about this guy. Because he's a bad guy, I need your help. So he's going to help her. And then he needs help from Josh Brolin, who's actually a cop, whatever. And they're going to go after this guy and investigate and find everything out and fix this. So he can do it for his girlfriend. You know, his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, then there's so many other plots that don't need to happen. There were so many, and I just could not keep up with the case. The actual story could not keep up with that. There is one scene. It's actually a shootout scene. That is my favorite scene because the, there's no music. It's just bam, guns. It's just like, and it's all. That was my favorite scene. Whole movie. That scene and the acting is the only good thing about this movie. The acting in this movie is spot on. Joaquin Phoenix as this guy is perfect. He was perfect as him. Josh Brolin as detective was great. Reese Witherspoon was great. Owen Wilson was great. Freaking Martin Short was actually pretty good. All these actors, all these actresses in this movie, it all worked. Great acting. No doubt about it. Oscar worthy? I don't know. Not really. No. I, I, I wouldn't see it. But it's still good performances though. And it's not, you could say it's a comedy, but again, it's not like a hangover comedy or American Pie anything like that. It's actually like a witty, it's like a quick witty comedy. And that can sometimes work. It can, I promise you. I've seen movies like that and they are funny. This movie just, I don't know why, it just didn't work with that. The tones were weird, the stories were all, Oh my, it was felt very cluttered. The storytelling was horribly done. It's just the side plots. There were so many, it was hard to keep up with the main story. But all those side plots, they didn't need to happen. I just, it just makes me mad that I had to go a long way to go see a film that I thought was going to be one of my favorite movies. I thought this was going to be like Boogie Nights. I really thought it was going to be like Boogie Nights. I mean, it's like a two hour, it's two hours and 28 minutes. It's a long movie, and it's kind of boring, guys. I pro I tell you right now, it's not your time to watch. If you want to see some good acting and a very intense, a very good intense scene, watch this movie. But it's not funny, in my opinion. It's not the best, it's the horrible storytelling, it's horrible slide plots, it's a horrible script. It's just, the acting and that scene was my favorite part of this movie. And the directing was also weird. It was really weird. I just... And the wittiness, it just... It's a mess. It's a huge mess. I'm gonna give this movie... A one and a half out of five. I think the performances are strong. They're worth watching the performances. And that scene, I tell you, was my favorite scene. I was like, dang, this is about really good. And it's just, mm, nope. And the ending sucks. I hate this ending. I don't like the ending. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry for a negative review on a movie that really looked good. Not that good. Anyway, guys, go ahead and enjoy this movie review. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.